Sorry for the extended silent introduction there, guys. Um, it's Sunday, it's Saturday morning. It's a weekend morning once again. I'm here for what I think will probably be the last part. I've got my coffee, but to explain the extended silence, um, I've also got a lovely slice of ginger cake uh, <laughs> that's about a week old. And in fact, it's over a week old and it's very dry. It's very delicious. But it took a lot of chewing, so there will be extended periods of silence <clears throat> in this. But let's see. Master Da Vinci is being pursued. He must have passed through this room. But where did he head from here? This is a very cool room. One of the war machines Leonardo invented for Cesare Borgia. Looks like a war machine, doesn't it? All right, well, adventurers go left. We'll immediately turn to the left. Just double check around here and see if we've got any bits of paper we can steal. Oh, I like this. This is my kind of <laughs> plinth altar. Okay, we'll take this first of all. Haphazardly left there. That's very under Vinci. Oh, we can turn this as well. Ah, it's got different crests. We've got the... The... Uh, <laughs> What's that? The Portuguese crest. We've got the, God, the Vatican crest. Uh, the Irish or Ivory Coast crest. The Ukrainian crest, or is that white? If it's white, it's, I don't know, El Salvador or Honduras or something. And then, uh, that's getting on for like Syria. And no country has pink in their flag. Anyway, let's stop messing around. I know this is a slightly more relaxed a sophisticated lockbox. I wonder what it's for. I know this is a slightly more relaxed pace, this uh, this series, but at the same time, you actually want to see stuff happen, don't you? Okay, I don't think there's anything much I can do there. But we have this. Let's have a quick look at it. Just a metal cross with a square bottom. And of course, we'll be trying our best not to use any hints, if possible. Now we have some crests. Ah, this looks like the way I'm probably going to want to go. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. So we're going to have to get all those into a certain lineup, aren't we? Can't see any of the inner workings, the machinations there. Machinations. Time doesn't seem to show anything. Oh, hello. We'll call you Big Bertha. Three skulls. Which don't seem to do anything or have any other reference. Interesting. Ooh. <clears throat> That's what I was after. A scythed chariot. Which the achievement says is from around the year 1485. Okay. Let's go back around the room. Well, let's have a, a little look at Big Bertha here. There's a handle, but the door is quite, quite locked. Ooh. Interesting. What are we supposed to do about this? Ah. That will now allow this to turn, perhaps? Yes, it will. Ah, letting those come inside, thus unlocking it. Oh, not quite. Oh, that's really interesting. Uh, what if they turn... Hmm. what the purpose of these is. I thought that... Oh, no, maybe it does go there. Oh, hang about. Here we go. We get that into here. We can then turn that and have it there. I don't know what that's going to achieve with us <laughs> being able to open it, but it is something we can do. So let's do the same thing there. It just gets them out of the way, if anything. 
uh, therefore allowing us perhaps to get some of these in place. That does open that way. Hmm. I'm going to need a little bit of ginger cake, uh, which I may also say has lemon icing on top. Excellent addition to a ginger cake. <laughs> so I'll commentate in about five minutes. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Yeah, okay. See, my thinking is, <clears throat> we don't want all of these to be here because that, that will be stopping it from opening. So I think I've just made it worse. Yeah, of course I have. So we want to get rid of them somehow. So we're gonna be able to have one in here, one in here, one in here, one sticking out of there, that's four, and then maybe five and six off the top and bottom. The only thing about the ones off the top and bottom is I'm not sure... Yeah, they won't go any further. We don't have any short ones. That's interesting too, so I can't get that... I'm not sure how I get rid of that, actually. I guess that counts as in, so maybe that's okay. That one won't stay there. Okay, right. This one can only go... No, but it can't go down there. That's the trouble. Hmm. Oh! That's unexpected. I kind of want to reset the room here. I feel like I've, I've not quite understood how these bits up here work, but maybe they were just there all along. Is that how they started? They must have. So again, with this one, we can only just get it to there. But I imagine this whole door is going to come off. It's not hinged or anything. Maybe it is hinged just here, actually. I can see, see a little bit of hinge there. Um, so, we need everything to be out of the way. Oh no, we don't need it to be out of the way, we just need it to be out of these bits. So I'm thinking of them as hinges, but they're not. So, as long as they're not under these, we should be fine. We very interestingly... Yes, okay! We have those as options. Not quite sure... It's not letting me stick them in there. Maybe that's where this one goes. I'm not sure what those are. Okay. Hmm. That will no longer turn. Unless maybe <clears throat> if we have that there, that will go in? No. I feel like I'm missing something important here, and I'm not sure what it is. I mean, that, that does get this <clears throat> out of position, so that that's nearly getting us where we want to be. 
This one has to happen first, whatever happens with it. Can't quite, <clears throat> yeah, I can't quite see it properly. Because we, yeah, so there is a, there is a thing there. It's, it's so hard to see at the top, but yeah, there is something that that's locking into. So that would be enough. And if that would be enough... Hmm. Where the hell are those going to go? <laughs> are any of these take-outable? Do you know what? I'm actually going to leave that for a bit, because I think I've... It, it's definitely solvable now, I think, but I, for some reason I'm struggling with that. So let's have a look at what else we've got, just for variety. Okay, have a regular looking window, nothing fishy about that. Something's going to attach to that, isn't it? Not this, I don't think. I want to look over there, on the right. Can I? I don't think I can. All right. Go this way. Three weights of some description. I right-clicked. Whoops. That'll teach me to right-click. Oh, go on then. Let's look at the table. We've got another scrumpled up piece of paper. We can't seem to turn back in time. Ah, you have been warned but did not heed. Now your pleas and explanations will come too late. You will soon discover who is the better man. I will not make the same mistake again. I know your secret. check for secret messages in the invisible ink. Oh, we get the whole cube. I thought I was going to interact with it there. Cool, right, well, we'll interact with it here. I've got one of these. It's a Japanese one. And it's incredibly difficult to put together. I can't remember what I put inside it, but I put something for safekeeping inside it. Hmm. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, mine's quite different from this, actually. Aha! Very cool. I'm a big fan of the small metal key. Ooh. I mean, that's clearly something. Such as the square thing I picked up. Okay, now we have a small wheel. Ah! With a cross on it. I don't know what to do with the small wheel with a cross on it. Like that we had to turn it clockwise to open. Feels like it should be the other way around for me. Can we enter this? Hmm. How strange. Well, it's not immediately apparent, is it? But it's open, and perhaps it will become more apparent later. Now, we should check two things while we're over here. We should check this bad boy on Big Bertha. Nothing. Then we should check this. Oh, they go... They turn automatically when you go through them. That's different. Now. Ooh. 
Oops. <clears throat> now what we want to do is use this to get through there. Um, go this way, for example. Oh no, we can't turn it already. <laughs> so yeah, we need to go... Oh my god. Oh my god, I've, I've, I've buggered it. How do I unbugger it? Uh... Uh... There's no way it can go now. Um, hmm. There's no reset. There is a reset lever. Brilliant. Well done, developers. That was necessary. Right. Let's let's work out what we want to do there before we just go ahead and fuck things up. So we need to get that in there. Obviously, this one. The only way to get there. Let's work backwards. This is logic. The only way to get through this is for have it to be facing that way, horizontal. And the only way the only way to get it horizontal is to go through it while it's vertical. So if we went through it while it's vertical, you go up this way, it turns to horizontal. That turns to horizontal, allowing us to get through and round there. That doesn't matter, but it's currently okay. We then go back round here and along there. Okay, so we need to come in from this way and not touch any of that beforehand. How are we going to come in from this way? Um, we don't want to touch that either. Do we? So... Back along there, back along there, then... That one's good. That one we need to get to change. And we can do that fairly easily. Um, we also need that to change. Oh my goodness. Oh, hang on, I think I've done it again, haven't I? No, I haven't. Okay. Right. Close to doing it again. <laughs> I just... Uh, right, okay. The explanation for this is it's Saturday morning and rather than putting the effort in to think about it first, I'm just trying to brute force it and hope it magically works like a lot of these puzzles do, but this one doesn't seem to be, so we do actually have to pay attention. Right, come on. Trace it back, Steve. This needs to be horizontal, so we need to go through there. Like that, at the ending. That as well, and that in order to, yeah, okay. So everything's all set up perfectly at the moment and will indeed be set up well. So as long as we can get to here, that's all well and good. And that needs to end up being horizontal. So I need to make both of these vertical, which I think I can do using this loop. Then, to do my final thing, I need to go down through both of those vertically, resetting them both to horizontal, or at least resetting that to horizontal, and then I can just do my thing and it should work. So, 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 <clears throat> we need to go up round this way, I think. And we want to go round like that. Hang on. That one needs to be horizontal, so now we've got that in place. There we go. Uh, now we want to go, yeah, round like that. Then we can go up and round that way. Okay. Now we've got them both vertical. I think that's it. Here we go. Now horizontal. Good. Up. Up, 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 up. Round. Here we go. Brilliant. Just takes a moment, Steve. Just give yourself some time. Oh. You betcha we'll be having a look at that. Emerald topped. Gold fitting. Okay. Right, who's next? 
can't go that way. Do we need to check the table for any scratches or anything? We sorted this out. Oh, hang on. Something rabbit, something rabbit, something. And we had two skulls before. Something, so rabbits are in two and four. Positions two and four. Let's have a look at the skulls. Rabbits in two and four. <clears throat> skulls are in one, three and five, okay. And we've got five things up here, so I think this might be telling us what we need to do. Glad we looked back. Skulls, do we have skulls? We have rabbits. Sure about the skulls though. Uh huh. Skulls are in one, three, and five. Rabbits are in two and four. <clears throat> so we've got a rabbit there. I hate that they move the same. <laughs> they move different things. It's really annoying. Oh, and they move them at different rates as well. It's infuriating. There you go! Oh my god! <laughs> no, I can't be done in this room. Well, skull, rabbit, skull, rabbit, skull. So red, green, red, green. And this isn't going to help, is it? Those are crests, but they're yeah, red and green. Ah, <laughs> oh, this does go in here. Ooh, okay. Can we take it back? No. Okay, let's have a look at this then. So we've got up, down, down, up, rotate. Interesting. I was hoping maybe I could move this along that line, but it seems like it's just stuck in place now. Oh, that's how we do it. So when it goes, okay, so when it goes down there, the left one goes up and the right one goes down. Anytime it goes back to the center, it resets. So here, I don't know what the rotation's gonna be. Ah, we don't get anything from that. Okay, and we're definitely, definitely gonna need the other one of these um, gems in order to work out what we're doing here. That's, that's cool. That's interesting. And if that goes straight up, can we... Oh, no. Forget we have to use that. Fine. Okay. We'll get it back into position. And we'll wait till we get another gem, because I think we're going to need two. Now, worryingly, I think that means we're going to have to do this lock puzzle on Big Bertha. Which I, I don't know why I'm struggling so hard with this. I'm sure it's dead easy. And I just wish that would stay there. But I don't see the point of it otherwise. Those, ah. Aha. So the reason that it wouldn't go any further there is because there's something in the way. I think it's because it wasn't actually colliding that made me think it wouldn't go into these things and stay there. Oh, okay, that makes that that makes life a lot easier. So Oh my goodness, let's get you out of the way. <clears throat> so now knowing we can have them in these places, this one should go down there. Yes. Superb. Okay. Will this stay in here? No. I don't understand the, the point of this divot. Um, but we'll, we'll come to that. So now, that one can go in there. This one can go down here. This one can go to here once we've switched that round. There you go. I mean, I hadn't actually done that one, but sure. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to complain that we got that one done in the end. I can't seem to go in or do anything with it. I've opened it, which is good. Don't get me wrong, that's good news, but... Yeah, it's allowing me to see the inside, but not to 
do anything with it. Okay. Right. I think now we head this way. See what we can see down this creepy little dungeon corridor. While I finish off the crumbs of ginger cake on my plate. What are you all eating? Please comment if you're having a nice a nice morning snack or a lovely beverage or something like that. Let me know. I want to know. A heavy grate with a strong lock. Ah, coffee and cake complete. 26 minutes in. Okay. Now, Steve, don't just start moving things. Okay. Diamond shape, diamond shape. Right arrow, right arrow, left arrow. Do we want them all to be diamond shape? Just trying to think if there is any... Oh, that won't turn any further. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Huh. Right, well, we clearly just want to get the wooden bit out, don't we? I don't think the symbols mean anything. Ah, curses. That won't go any further now. There we go. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, turn normally. Damn. That's alright, it should be able to go all the way around this way. Yeah. A wooden handle. Best best not to say anything about the shape of that. A wooden handle that was gonna slot in somewhere. Well, see you later, chest. I'm going to stick wooden handles into things. I think probably the first intender for where to stick my wood, I'm so sorry, I won't do any more of that, uh, is here. Oh, it looks like something that would be perfect for a kind of crank. All right, well, perhaps not. I don't see it go going anywhere in there. Fine. This table, I think, is done, isn't it? Because we read the note, we did the box. I don't see this thing. Now we can't even get back to the, the puzzle board. Um, and then over there was just, just some sandbags, and I think the cannon to my left... Cannon to the left of me! ...is going to shoot those down. That's the ultimate goal of Big Bertha. Shoot down the cannon. Uh, shoot down with your cannon. Right. Now, could a wooden handle potentially go in here? No, that was a bit optimistic, wasn't it? Um... Oh, I can't turn that any longer. Interesting. I very much wonder what's inside. <clears throat> Is there anywhere we haven't been yet? Like, any more areas? So, I was able to go over here, which I can't now. I can't turn round. Uh, let's use the old timey thing. And then the old secret thing. Just to check everywhere and see if there's anything we've missed. Like saying... I don't know, it's behind you or something. Equally as <laughs> atmospheric. No. And I feel we're going to get a literal cracking this thing wide open uh, with Big Bertha there. So definitely nothing there. Get me back to here, please. Want to look at everything. Okay. Still nothing. Alright. 
So we've got a little a little key for something. And what that would be for. Want to see this candle holder? No. Anything interesting on these? No. We haven't checked down here with our looky things either. Ah. Always worth checking with the looky things. Oh my god, that was <laughs> that's how we opened the door. Brilliant. I love a secret stone. Oh, hang on. Interesting. Yes! Wow, I expected the key to be smaller than that. I didn't think it would fit. This lock. Ooh, what's inside the box? There's a jewel in the dagger. I think we should be able to take... Aha! There it is. Take it out. Oh, beautiful. Ruby topped gold filling. Do I get to keep the dagger and sell it to a vendor? Sell it to a merchant for some sweet cash? Now, I'm not done with this place yet. It's exactly the sort of thing I would normally go, oh, right, well, that's that box done, but this is the House of Da Vinci after all. And I can't see any scratches or any secret panels or anything immediately, so perhaps that is it. Aha! I was right. A metal lever. Now that might be for the, uh, the Big Bertha. Okay, I'm convinced. I'm convinced we're done there now. That was a very elaborate thing just to get a lever and a red jewel. Like, all this. It's just very, very big puzzle stuff. Right. Sophisticated lockbox time. Plonk it in there. And now, we're going to work out what we want to do. So, if we, let's say, have it like this. Uh, no, let's, let's have it facing up first. What does bringing these down and up actually do? <clears throat> Watch the mechanism. So all that shifts is this bit here. I don't know if that's unlocking or locking. Okay, and that of course just turns it back to normal. What if we have them both putting right up, for example? The right goes up. Oh. That was right going up and left going down. Interesting. Could you do that back again? So left has gone down because of this. Left is going down again, which lets that fall out of place. I want to see how that works. So this goes down and then, ah, that is weighted on this side, so it will naturally fall down, but that's in its way, so... Okay. Now we want to rotate this out of the way so that it doesn't go back in, so I think... Ah, damn, we can't... Yeah, we can't. We have to just reset it, I guess. Yeah, okay. Interesting. And what happens if we do rotate? So... The right one will rotate right, the left one will rotate left. That didn't actually go into position there. Maybe it can't because it's not ready? Okay. Left goes down. Left rotates. No. What if left needs to rotate a different way? But that works! Oh, hang on. That one was saying left should go right, which it can't do, right? Whereas here, because it's it's in order, so I think that's left, that's right. Then when it goes over to here, that's left, that's right. Then when it comes down here, I'm not really sure. <laughs> that's slightly confusing. <clears throat> Aha. Uh, 
And what if we do that one? There it is. That made sense to me at the end, but the, the middle sections of that didn't fully make sense to me. Metal head. We're a metal head. And I assume that's... <laughs> I got that in the right place, the old uh, Belarus flag, because we had the green and the red, so that's why it's not letting me change anything. Okay, done. A metal head. Does that combine with this? Of course it does. Beautiful. Lever with a massive metal head. And this is just a metal lever. I'd almost call that a crank. Right, surely one of these is going to fit in here. Massive metal head for a massive big Bertha. Ooh! Right, we're in. Master must have escaped through this war machine. It seems that the platform inside leads to the top of the Badia Fiorentina. Does it? There is not much time left to us. I will await you in the tower. I've managed to prepare the way. When the shot from the cannon sounds, I will know you are close. However, this will also warn our enemies. Waste no more time than you must. LDV. Right, initial looking around with this. No. I'm glad that it doesn't sort of over-rely on seeing secret symbols and, you know, seeing the, the, the time thing going. Uh, like what happened in the past, etc. Because it's a, it's almost a bit of a gimmick, and it works really well the amount they're using it. But if it was for everything, that would be really annoying. Cannon is not loaded. We've put some gunpowder in. There is enough black powder in the cannon. Not sure how cannons work. It seems. Oh, looks like it's going to rotate and fire three times, right? Okay. Because then, yeah, that'll go down. This one will come up. So we've we've loaded that. Hopefully that one's already loaded. Or maybe we have to do each one. I'm not sure. This looked suspicious to me. Rightly so, because it's let me go into it. What can, what can we do with this? Ah, oh, there's the cannonballs, look. That. That's what we need. Open her up. Oh, it's going to be automatic. No, it's not. Loaded. Black powder. Cannonball. Oops. Oh, if I double click them. A bit strange. The cannon is ready to fire. Now we just got to fire it. Oh my god, do I want to? Don't now make it a timed thing. What? <laughs> that not fire? Oh, wow, okay. Interesting. Cannon is not loaded. Okay. And double-clicking the balls just makes them disappear. There we go. Right, so we can aim this. Here we go. I hope, yeah, as I say, I hope it's not going to be a become a timed event once I shoot it, because he said warning. Our enemies will know. You know. Interesting. I think I'm ready for the next one. Oops. Oh, I was not expecting any first-person shooters. in this game. Boom! Not the perfect hit, but it did well enough. Aha! Okay. There's got to be more to do in here, surely. Yeah, look at this. I was worried I was going to have to rotate the whole machine around using some really tricky mechanism in order to get all three of those, so it was quite nice I was able to do it the way I, I was. And nothing can be used yet. I imagine I need something to lock into here. But I currently have nothing. 
nothing in the inventory. Yet. I spy a box in the dumb waiter. Oh, I see. Curses. <gasps> Excuse me. Curses. Right. Well, let's <laughs> try and sort this malarkey out, shall we? So, that can sit nicely over there. That can go there. This can now come down here. It can come back. Are we... I don't know. Shift that up or something. You go over there. You are now stuck. So you need to go that way. Hang on. Yeah. There is always going to be something to the left of this one. So that, that one has to go right. I realise I'm just sort of tossing things around at the moment. Doesn't help. Uh, you are probably going to end up going... In fact, you won't... Yeah, you can go left. So let's make you go right. Uh, piss. Okay. Back, back in place. Okay. You are only going to be able to go right, aren't you? Because that always means there's something to your left. So that's good. It can go right. Both of those can come all the way down, so it sort of makes me think we could do that. Uh, but obviously then we've got issues here. Oh no, we haven't. Left, left, right. Aha! Stroke of luck. Metal crank. Now this box is not done with, I'm sure. There's always something else in these boxes. I'm clicking around. I can't see anything either. What about if we look at the handle? No? Maybe it is done. Yeah? Okay. Have a little look at the metal crank. Which I assume can only be for that middle bit of Big Bertha. Can't think of anything else in this room that, there, that we have. Brilliant. Crank it! Ah. Oh wow, it's a lift! Look at us go! Well, I wasn't expecting that. And what a quick run that was! What was that, 40 minutes? Thereabouts? We're getting to the top of the tower now, this is exciting! This is where that weirdo paraglided down from in the first episode, right? That weirdo potentially being Leonardo himself. The explosion came from somewhere around here. I wonder what caused it. I want to look out over the... Oh, I can't look out over the city very well. Okay. It's all right. Sides first. Ooh. What are you... Lots of this symbol everywhere. This part of the tower is undamaged. The explosion must have happened on one of the lower floors. Now how do I get down there? I'll start off by using those handy steps, I think, but here is a little puzzle. An incomplete pulley mechanism. I wonder what it controls. Oh, okay. Right, so I can't use that yet. Strange wooden construction. Maybe a part of Da Vinci's astronomy research. Maybe. Alright, let's go downstairs. Oh, all the way downstairs. Uh, can't do anything with that. And yeah, why am I here? What could I possibly do here? Alright, no, we're, we're carrying on. That's going to line up to make something cool, isn't it? Ah! Is it, shi is it shining a light through it? And it's going to make a beautiful... Thing? No, that, that looks to be what we need. You can see two shapes lined up there. 
But hang on, it feels like that's casting a light somewhere and we need it to be the right shape. I'm not quite sure yet. Right, I want to look at this. This is exciting to me. Oh. <laughs> Start just pressing it. An astrolabe showing the lunar cycles. Yeah, I'd say that's correct. Okay, but I don't seem to be able to do anything with it. Uh, there's a big key-shaped thing in the middle there. You, however, I just press and you open. Uh, put you that way. Match the symbols and... Hmm. Checking all the panels. Any scratches or anything? What's going to happen here? Feels like one of those tile puzzles that I was complaining about last episode, but... No, it looks like something's going to go in there, and then I'm not quite sure what happens with the rest of it. This feels like stuff should move here as well, but nothing is doing. So that's a question mark as well for now. kind of want to go back to this. Yeah, it feels like we need a light shining through there, doesn't it? So we create those shapes on as a sort of projection. Maybe that's what happens. Oh no, that's <laughs> that's how it goes instead. Or maybe the other pattern I found is how you get it back to this side. I don't know. must be hard to program puzzle games where you have a puzzle and it's got to be immediately obvious as to why you've done a thing. I think sometimes in puzzle games you have these puzzles and you sort of fiddle around a bit and then something happens you're like, oh, okay. You know, but it's not true to life in that you, you don't know why you did it or you, you just sort of happened across a solution because you know one was needed. You just pressed some things and it worked. I'm not really describing that very well, but maybe that makes sense to you. You want to be able... Yeah, you don't want to see what the solution is. You want to understand the reason for getting to that solution. Maybe that makes sense. Part of a device. <laughs> Good, thanks. A strange wooden construction, and I missed what you said about it, sorry. Okay, part of a device. That's probably going to be going on... Ah, it's a plus symbol, so that'll go with something else. So you, uh, maybe part of Da Vinci's astronomy research, yeah. Got a one, two, three, and a four. Cool. So we want to get stuff in there, I assume. We've not looked at this yet, either. Again, something I'd... Oh, I can. I can move it. If I grab it by that. Can't seem to move the gold one. Just the silver one. Okay, so let's move it. See what happens. Ah, we do that. Those get to go in. Then we can move the gold one. And the silver one. Oh, don't move together, for God's sake. Ugh. Oh. Oh, that's quite what I was after. Um... Right, so the hole goes wherever I click, basically. Or near enough. So if we do that and then rotate it. Lovely. Interesting. Can rotate round there. Silver ones can rotate as well. Oh, the whole lot just needs to go 180 degrees, doesn't it? There we are. Oh, and inside is. Oh my god. A square medallion.
Are you just going to continue rotating now? Looks like you are. What have I set off? I've got... Square medallion with three... Three prongs to it. We know where that goes. Oh, I was clicking on the wardrobe, but... Maybe we can't get to the wardrobe yet. Uh, we know where the three-pronged what's it goes, though. It's square as well. More's the... More's the, uh, jubilation. Right, it's in. Oh! Oh! We're playing fill it in, like snake. Oh, I like that. Okay. Well... This should be it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, okay. So here we're going to want to go up and round here. Mm, how are we going to get that piece? That's where we need to end. That piece is impossible unless we end there. So I think we go up and round like this. So we've got to go down and round. Hmm... So if we cross this twice, it's going to become thingy. Do you know what? I think maybe we go, I need to test. We do this. Do that. It turns. Nice, okay, yeah, that does work. Work differently from how I expected it to. Oh, and it's the middle piece doesn't change anyway, so we can... Finish on it. Lovely. Ah, because they're, they're brighter pieces, so those don't change. Why did that one not change? Ooh. We changed the white pieces to beige pieces. By doing that, which is interesting. Oh, okay. Oops. Yeah, bugger. Okay. There's like three steps to each square, but once they're there, you can't go back onto them. So... We just go back over those like that. Back over those like that. Then, let's think. There, 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 there. Looks good to me. And we have to go down. Now I think we continue down. Uh, there, 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 Almost did what I said, but seems to work. Oh my goodness, another one. Right. Um, I think we just get started and see what happens. That one we won't go back over yet because we need it to be free for us to get up and round. So if we do that, it is free for us to get up and round. Now, this one, again, we don't go over twice. We just go round here, go over it the second time there, fill those in. What are we going to do about this? Up. Then there, then back, then doof, 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 yeah. So up, up, back, over. Cool. Those seemed more straightforward to me than I was expecting them to be. A cogwheel is good. Esteemed Master Leonardo da Vinci, we both know that we share a bond of mutual respect. We know all about all the events happening in your home, as well as in your workshop. 
Any measures you have taken to prevent and jeopardise our plans are useless. Therefore, I ask you to hand over your finished work, together with the plans for that which remains unfinished, and to cooperate with us fully and immediately. Otherwise, you and your followers will be punished. Love from Clan. Yeah, it's maybe expecting too much that that would just go straight on there. Oh, we can move the sheets of paper out of the way. Thus revealing... <laughs> I'm not sure what. But by God, we've revealed it. Huh. Maybe it's on the right or left. Hang on. No, it must be on the left. Whatever the thing is. We're revealing. That's weird. He's immovable. For a reason, surely. Do I need to get them into a certain order? That would be strange if I was supposed to. That doesn't seem to... You know, make a huge amount of sense. I don't think I'm supposed to be analysing these, am I? Move these back out and just check each one, see if it's got secret stuff on it. Yes, it has. Of course it has. There we go. So, what do we have? Hexagon, circle, diamond, square. H, C, S. Sorry, <laughs> H, C, D, S. H, C, D, S. H, C, D, S. H, C, D, S. That's the same way I remember uh, how you do trumps in a game of whist. Hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades. <clears throat> H, C, D, S. Right. do that and move that back over, for whatever reason. Don't know why I did that. Because I don't really need to get up there. But now we've done it, we'll have a look. Cool. I think this stuff goes on there, honestly, but we'll, we'll, we'll pop back up here, just have a look. Because there is this thing. Yeah. H, C, D, S. Right, let's go back down and, and re realign the stairs once more. The lift just went down there, right? Oh no, 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 that was just to get the, the stairs in the right place. I see. Okay. Feels like that goes in there or something, but... Oh! Oh! Interesting. Oh, there'll be phases of the moon look. And the red moon. Oh my god, that's really cool. Right, so we can do these, and we need to get the order, don't we? Very, very cool. Right. Here are the phases of the moon. Can we see a one, two, three, four on here anywhere? And a one, and a two. It definitely is showing the lunar cycles, yes, but what do we do with it? That definitely doesn't go on there, no. Well, on this side, no.
So we've got all the lunar bits and bobs there, but we don't know which ones we've got to use yet, right? Because we can see all of them. There's, ah, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. So we need to get something into there and shoot it all round so it will show us the angles we need. There's nothing showing us anything there. Ah, there is something showing us something here. Lots of use of the word something. Aha! I hate that it does it several times. Oh my goodness, what? We've got to work this out, so... Without anything happening, this thing turns around... to there. Then, a magic... Oh no, then it goes around to somewhere else. Then, ah, oh, there's a lever there on the left, you see. It goes around again. Then those things open up. That folds down. A key is inside. You then enter a handle, insert a handle, twist it all the way around, and that magically goes to some special kind of alignment. Bloody hell. Right, okay, I think first off what we want to do is see if we can move these. <laughs> now, I can't seem to just move those, so... Nothing's... nothing's interactive at the moment. Um... Yeah, we've definitely got some more stuff to find. Now this this chest, I keep on seeing the top of it, but it's it's a great big chest, and I feel like I should be looking <clears throat> somewhere on the side of it. There's some secret bits and pieces. I don't want to change that again because well, I think we've we've sort of done that, haven't we? There's two ways the stairs can go at the moment. Maybe there's a third way which I haven't noticed yet, but for now. I really want to see this. No, no, stop taking me back there. <laughs> I want to see the cabinet. Ah, that fits that. Okay. <laughs> this game, I think, is harder than the room. Hearts Club's Diamond Spades. So, hearts, uh, circle, C, uh, D for diamonds slash diamonds, and S for spades slash square. I think whatever we've done there is correct. Oh, that's pretty satisfying. Wow. All that to open a drawer. Golden dial with a cog wheel and a silver disc. We need to have a better look at those, don't we? Okay, ah, this will be the lever we need for the back of the uh, labiarium or whatever it's called. L Luna uh, laburnum. No, that's a plant. Just trying everything on everything here. There we go. It's a dial gear assembly. What's this thing called again? Astrolabe. I wasn't far off. I can't seem to go into it any longer. Maybe we just chuck that on it. Chuck that in there. The lever comes out. Okay. Now we hopefully can move things around. Oh, by doing this. Interesting. And that does... not a lot. It just moves them all to some degree. Interesting. Okay. So. Timey time. A delicious easy triangle. Right. So, let's start, start at the beginning. 
get them all back to normal. Probably the easiest way to do that is by lining them up there. Cool. So, they go around a fair bit. Come sa. That one's slightly off, but I think that's okay. Then it goes back. Then we pull the lever. And they end up like that. These open, that flaps down, as we saw. You take a little key. Oh, then you insert a handle, which I don't have. You twist it. Okay, that's all right. We've got it, we've got it to somewhere. We've got it to somewhere. We've got a nice little key now as well. So, nothing there we can open, that's for sure. Are we done with this now? I assume we're done with all of this thing. Can't see anywhere else on it I can click. Nope. What's this? A dial gear assembly. Can't do anything with it. Key is unremarkable. Um, what else do we have? We have this thing. All that does is let us go up here. I'm just going to have another quick look, first of all, at this. Because I feel that that's got to go in the middle. Yeah. Good o. The dial gear construction is complete. And that doesn't seem to affect it yet. Cool. Over here... We did this, didn't we? But I'm just checking if there's anything else doable. No. That. I don't think a key fits that, does it? It's time to look look for marks everywhere with this first. No marks showing up there. Can't see any marks here either. Those obviously we sorted. And back across. Okay. Time. Time things. Nothing there. Nothing over there. Obviously loads there, but we've done we're halfway through that. Hang on, the key doesn't just go in the middle here, does it? It really doesn't look like it should. Oh, no, no, we saw the thing that goes in that. That's a reasonably sized thing as well. I really don't know where that's going to be. I would love to see that box, but we can't. What about the back half of this? I think that's the one we're on now, isn't it? Yeah. So, that being hexagon diamond. Wah! We've also got the two tetrahedrons, or whatever they're called. And we also have, yeah, hexagon diamond. So, yeah, there are two, two things we can do. Well... Where we currently are isn't doing much, so let's do this again. And see if there's anything we missed up there that a key could be useful for. I'm also thinking of checking under those new stairs that have come into the come into the way. We can sort of reach this as well. No, we can't. Alright. Stick a key in. <laughs> Incomplete pulley mechanism, yeah. Doesn't seem to be anything we can do there. Nor like that. 
check for stuff up here. No, I think that's it. Okay. Down to halfway. Where I don't think there's anything else we can do. While the stairs are so. Worth checking though. I want to just peer over the edge and see what's down there. Maybe we just carry on... I don't know, maybe, maybe we put the code into this based on some of the things that these... Yeah, maybe that's it. <clears throat> okay. Why don't we finish this off and see what it ends up with, right? So we got to this point. We don't have that, but we don't need it because we see what happens with it, so... Those all go round to there, which is interesting. Then you switch the handle and they all end up there. Uh, so starting with one in the middle, we've got full white. Then... <laughs> waning... three quarters white. Then where's the third one? I don't even see the third one. Where have you gone? There you are. The so waning from the bottom right, then... Crescent from the left white, and then crescent from, sorry, crescent from the right, oh my god, okay, so we'll talk about where the shadows are, so we're white, 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 red, we've got full three quarters shadow on the, yeah, shadow on the bottom right, shadow on the left, shadow on the right with red, so let's try putting those in, I can remember them, oh my god. We also need to do the stairs. <laughs> See if I recall it all. By the time we've got the stairs in place. So full white. Shadow coming from the bottom right. Gibbous. Waning gibbous. <laughs> Waning crescent. From there. That's that one. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. And then maybe that will release something. That's the whole point of the time thing, right? We get to see ahead. So full white, please. Full white. Then shadow down from the bottom left. Sorry, from the bottom right for this guy. So we're looking about there. Then we have a crescent over on the right here, so that's there, I think, unless it's there. I'm feeling it was more than that. Yeah, that looks about right. Then we have red on this one, on the left-hand side, and it's that size. But it needs to be red, so let's keep turning it. There. Oop. There. I think that's correct. The game might not agree. Maybe this is bigger. Maybe this is smaller. And this is smaller. Hmm. Okay. We'll double check that. I was pretty sure that was the case. So what do we have here then? We have very, very crescent. Then we have middle crescent. On this one we have just middle crescent. Oh, we do have very middle, very waning crescent there. Or very, shit, what's it called? Thingy. <laughs> very thin. Right, so we need to double check this again, don't we? Why do you sometimes make me draw easy shapes and sometimes they're harder shapes? Not playing on an iPad. Okay, so. Let's double check this. Yeah, decent sized crescents for the white and the red. That I'm sure is correct. And that is just a full, full white moon. Full white moon, shadow down from the right. Those aren't big enough, those two. 
that's correct. And that's correct. Uh, the fact that I've done it... Oh, here, here we go. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that doesn't do anything. Metal dial is probably linked to the mechanism under it. Okay. Oh, was there... Ah, oh, were there star things in alignment here that I missed? Lovely triangle. Hmm. The only things that I can see that look like stars are here. I suppose we, we do have stars here as well. What are those? Got a star... So we've got... Star, star, star. Star, 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 star. Oh, no, 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 hang on. <laughs> Each one of the images has a star around it. Okay, that's not going to help. Oh... I suppose there is always the, the option of trying to then turn them round. Even though we don't have the... Th there you go, so we're at that stage at the moment, we got the key. Key is ours. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yep. Then... He turns something round with that. And then things move one by one. All in alignment down there. And then he pulls the lever and they all go somewhere different. So that's where it finishes on, but that, you know, who's to say that that's correct? Like, does that actually mean anything? Maybe that's why it's not working back up there with the, the big one that I've programmed these moons into. Um, So I'd say we're not we're not able to move them one by one, and to do that we would probably need to insert whatever that handle is. So a so a so a so. I think probably the next thing we're gonna try and do. Oh I can't use that, that's interesting. Oh I can't I can't do anything. Even with this Yeah, I can't, I can't turn anything, so we're, we're set. Okay, well in that case, I'm going to do them like these. So, uh, like they are now. So, full white moon, full red moon. Uh, number three. Half right white. Less than half right red. Full white, full red, that's easy. So, white red, white red. Okay, let's try and remember that. First one is correct, thus far. White red. Half white. Just less than half red. Wah! I mean, it was correct, hang on. What the hell? Line those up. Oh my god. <laughs> it's annoying that that got to the right stage and then it didn't lock in place and I, it let me keep going. So it's, it's not right! The basketball is not supposed to be so revealed. It's going to drop out of here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Nothing? Can't click it. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, a key doesn't go in it, does it? 
Well, it's probably not working because you... Ah, oh, those are all back to normal. The hell? That's confused me. I think we have to do it again, so... I worry we've bugged it. Full white. Whoops. Full red. I'm going to get this one right first. Which is there. And this one has to be half white. I'm going to do it really slowly. There. That's not going to work now, is it? Okay. I'm really pleased that I now have access to this, but... Double-clicking into any part of it does nothing. I'm not able to grab anything. Let's be really, really thorough. Really see if there's a little hand icon. No. Looks like something's got to go on there. Have I just not found the item I need to open this? Where the hell could it be? Why don't we try moving the stairs? Maybe that'll do... I don't know, something, but I'm a bit confused. Really don't know how that's going to help. Because it's not moving the... Not moving the big dial thing, is it? It's just moving the stairs. So that should still be there and accessible. Ah, okay. Well, what about if we headed up here? Definitely right. Um, and so if there's something we can open here. Aha. Uh -huh. No. No, 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 no. Don't take me back down. I didn't click down here. I'm trying to click on this. Because look, that's clearly something that's opened now. And I want it. Can't use anything there, obviously, still. Yeah, no, it's not going to let me use it. Okay, back down we go. This one's a brain scratcher. Or uh, <laughs> rather, it's a head scratcher. Well, I will do the stairs again, because I just don't see us needing to get... Up there. Well, no, we don't need to just do them for no reason, do we? Can I see any of the others? No. There's definitely nothing... Nothing hiding there. Definitely nothing time-wise hiding there. What about if we look at it from a bit further back? No. And one thing I did want... No, don't take me up there. Oh, the movement in this is a bit annoying sometimes. Go back down. Head over to this. I don't think there's anything we can do with this now, but I want to see if we can look behind us at the underneath of the stairs. No, not really. Okay. Fine. Well, the only other thing I can think we can interact with is this, but we're kind of done until we get the, the lever for it. Oh, hello. Cheeky. What is that? A strange, strangely shaped tool. That's what we're going to need to open this, I think. He says <laughs> optimistically. Ah, good. I'm glad it wasn't bugged. Key with the cross-shaped head. Now we know what we're doing with that. We want to go all the way back up there. I'm glad I didn't change the uh, stairs again. So this should be for the pulley system. 
Haven't had any hints today. Thought we'd need them once or twice, but we haven't had to use them. Ah, shit. Does that not go in? Oh, devastating. Devastating. Hang on, I'm an absolute idiot. I went right past the thing I know I'm waiting for a crank for. <laughs> We've got the crank, or the handle, or whatever you want to call it. In she goes. Right now, we need to see what we do. Oh, the time thing's not working now. Yes, it is. I assume we just turn it to the left, but I want to make sure it's right. It's correct. So, in it goes, and we crank it... What is it? 360 degrees to the right? Yes. Hang on. I don't want to just willy-nilly turn it the wrong way. Did I just miss... see what direction that was going in? So, come on. Yeah, it rotates right. But it's not letting me rotate it right, it's only letting me rotate it left. Well, that... Hmm. Don't love that. But now we can move these individually. That's confused me. I guess we just carry on to the bitter end, like... in this. He turns it right and they all move to there. And then go back to there. At no point have they ever been in the position they are now. So yeah, well, I mean, let's do that. Let's line them up all down there. One. Two. Three. And four. Then, pull the lever. And they all swing around to some weird place. And we take that. Uh, message for the devs there. Make sure the handle turns the correct way. And that those go the same way. Unless that was them locking it. Maybe that was them locking it back in the time thing. I don't know. Best not to pay too much attention. But that we know where it goes. Yeah, maybe that was... We were seeing how they locked it within there. And so we were doing the unlocking of it. So we had to turn it the other way. That's what we'll say. Okay. It is now a complete pulley mechanism. How do I make it work? Oh wow, it's still, yeah, it's still definitely not working, is it? Um, so now, I mean, we sort of have a handle now. Still says it's incomplete as well. I assume we need some big thing in the top there. Okay, yeah, we're not getting anywhere with that. Um. I genuinely don't know what else we can do now. Is there anything else on here? new, and we can't move any of those. Can't shift that. If we look down here, is there anything else we can interact with? Nope. What about the top one? Right one? Anywhere around. Not there. We got that key by being clever and double-clicking down there. I think we maybe need to do the same thing elsewhere as well. Um, so let's go round to here. If there's any special place with something hidden on one of these wooden bits, because we haven't had very many of those in this session, have we? No, don't move back to there! Now, 
clearly, clearly there's nothing, nothing we can do with that. The only other thing I can think of now is that we just need the stairs back in a different position. Or that we need to do something else with the uh, dial up at the top. There we go. This is turnable again. Then it, it always was turnable. Um, definitely linked to the mechanism underneath it, yeah. Those are redoable now, so maybe we just have to do where it's ended up this time. So... What have we? One is tiny right. Tiny right white. <laughs> no, hang on. White, 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 red. So only the last one's red. Tiny right, big left, medium right, medium left. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think I've remembered that. Uh, one is, yeah, tiny right and then medium left. Let's do that first. Tiny right. Medium left, was it? It was medium left or was it half left? Oh no, it's, it's huge left. Left and up. Uh, so, turn it round there. There, 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 there. Then we had... Yeah, then it was medium right, and then... Was it medium or tiny left? Medium left, but red. Medium right, medium left. Sorry. It's struggling to remember this. So, medium right... And then red, but smaller. Here. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> right. That doesn't do anything. We just want to turn this so it matches up, don't we? Bigger portion up in the top left there, like that. No? <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what we're doing here. Did, did the thing happen? No, and then yes. Cool, sure. what's going to be available now. Hopefully, the thing containing the pulley mechanism wants it. Here it is. This is the thing I could see up there. I was hoping we'd be able to open. Wow. Iron-bound wooden wheel. <laughs> okay. Let's unbind it, perhaps? Or is it... Uh, no, it is as it is, I think. That's how it comes. Pre-packaged. Okay. Where the hell are we going to put that? That's circular. We could try it. Nope. Bit of a long shot. Um, I think we need to go back up to... Not there. I think we need to stick it on there, don't we? Is that going to do anything, though? Doesn't look like the sort of thing that would fit up there. But I can't think of anything anywhere else it would go, so. Oh, it's so tricky. There we go. Ooh, big stretch! 
Don't forget to do nice big stretches. Oh, that feels so amazing. Ah. When sitting in one position doing computer games for a long, long time, one should stretch regularly. Oh, that felt so good. Right. It has to go on there. It does go in there. Good. Oh. Ooh. Could have just lifted that. Way down is clear. Maybe I'll soon find out what has happened. Let's go. What has happened? I bet we'll get a note from Leonardo going... They tried to find me, but they didn't manage. See you in House of Da Vinci 2. And we'll be like, ah. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought that was <laughs> the sound of a pursuer. Whoa. Good jump. Oh, less good. <laughs> we may as, well just, may as well have just jumped off from the beginning. But here we are, at the bottom. Oh! Creepy hooded red dude. Zzz. Interesting. Either they're supernatural or they're incredibly ninja. What was that? Was it real? A metal container which seems to actuate the mechanism above me. That's pumping nothing. That doesn't seem to do anything, but those will go up and slot onto the top of this, I'd imagine. Yep, can't do anything with it. That's a thing. Something will go in. Good. Uh, quick check of that and that. Nothing. This says number three above it, so we put a two and three. Uh, we want number one, more likely. Here it is. Oh, there's a... Damn. Worth a try. All for a something. And we're just taking in our surroundings, making sure we know what's what. Yeah, of course there's something down here. Look at that. It's a flying machine. Manuscript B, 1487 to 1489. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got one behind me, which I can't really seem to do anything with, which is a bit weird. Oh, there, there it is. Right, one. Can't turn that to line it all up. Currently. Oh, hello. There we are. So we know what we want to do, but I'm not quite sure how we do it. These don't turn. Maybe we need a little lever or something to put in them. Okay, well that's one anyway. Two. And rotate this, so that's fun. Uh, see that as well. Aha! We have a cogwheel. Nice. Just come, come straight off. Now we can sync these up. Uh, some of them don't go any further than where you can rotate them to there, so as long as they're all in line. <coughs> yeah. One. Brilliant. Cogwheel. Uh, it's got circle and obviously the star shape of the cogwheel there too. Let's see what this is first. Ah, okay. And that cogwheel's going to go on there, I think. No? Can we not? We can't, okay. We have it on that side and try and rotate it so it's all in line. 
but we can't, can we? Because we're not able to turn this side. Damn. Hang on, that one turned. Two and four. Whereas that one turns two and three. So one is immovable. Four. So if we have four there, so it's under. Yeah, we just need to get onto the other side, don't we? And we can't seem to do that. So, okay, ignore. Ignore for that time. That doesn't do anything, but that's because we probably need to put something in here. That's not going in there. Oh, it is going in there. Oh, and the star shape is because it's a... a cog. Hang on. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, right. Let's see what doing this does. So that launches things up. We want to get everything in line, don't we? If we have that one come down, then we can raise that one even further. Then we go there and drop that one, which is good. Then we go back to there, raise that one. Go to there, drop that one. Back to there, raise that one. Good, that's in line. Now, got to get this one down. This one has either got to go two up or two down. Uh, so let's start it going up, let's say. Actually, no, we've got more things that need to go up, so I think we'll have it go down. About counterbalancing, isn't it? That doesn't matter so much. This one... Actually, they, most of them have... Yeah, most of them have two points that you can use. Just to make it even trickier. Uh, this one... That works. Down. Uh, up. Yeah, that should even us out. We've got down. And finally, we've got up. Ah, crap. No, we haven't. We've still got two to worry about here. But if we do that... And, whoops. And that. And we head back to that one. Make it go down. And then back to that one. Make it go back up again. Shit. What happens if we try going up there? Ah, it won't let us. Okay. Uh huh. Up. Down. That's now in place, but obviously now this one isn't. I think we just need to find. That's probably not in the right place. That probably needs to be at the top, doesn't it? Um. E. So. Start that one going down. <laughs> um. If that one goes down, we want another one to go up a proportional amount minus one. So I think that's going to be that one. That one can go. Oh no no no! Hang on. Yeah, this should work. So. Now we've got like one, two, three, and there I think we've got one, two, three, so that should line everything up. So if we give all the ups to you, and all the downs to you, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, because we'll finish on that one on the left. There might have been a slightly quicker way I could have done this, but I think this is going to work. Chip. Come on. And you go. Yeah, here we go. Ah! Oh. oh, that feels good. Upstairsy. Can we go upstairsy? We can. Ah, oh, lots of red hooded monks. Oh, very pretty. Straight in here, what's this? 
uh, non-turnable currently. Okay. This. Are you do anything with a bull? Uh, something goes in there, unlocks that, gets us the lever. That controls that. Okay, I don't think we can do anything with that either. This. Is interesting. A fixed chest linked with a shaft to the mechanism of the invention. Well, if it's a fixed chest and it's linked to the invention, I don't think we're going to be opening it, are we? That's not anything. What about over here? I want to see this. Wheel with four handles and an interesting pattern. What are you? We were probably not destined to meet in this time. The sun is already setting, the night is approaching, and I fear that the messenger could not deliver my letter. If you ever get to this place and observe carefully all the indices I left you with, you may be able to open the gate of time. The Oculi Tempus has only allowed us to look into the past, but in connection with this machine, it is possible to enter it. They tried to seize my device, but without success. Therefore, they will need yours to try to change the past in their favor. If you can get the if you can open the gate, you have to act quickly. Otherwise, the substance might explode. I hope we meet on the other side. I act quickly or the substance might explode when we've opened the gate. Ooh, what's this? Ah. Shine that into there. Obvs. This is suspicious. I should be opening this. Hmm. Empty test vial. Right, I need to get some liquid in there, don't I? Which will probably come from downstairs. Okay. Good stuff for now. Now what's this? Uh, nothing yet, but I think we're going to be doing levels of liquid or something in there. The lever I can't interact with there as well. God, well we found his time machine, which is quite exciting. I want to see where this wheel goes. I think it goes over there. Perfect fit. Ooh. A barrel screw. Ah! That rings a bell. Shape of that. Alright, cool. Well, well, we'll use that in a sec. Did that bring something up here? It did. How do we get it down? Ah, using this. And I think the barrel screw was here. Yeah. There it is. So hopefully this is how we lower that item. No, it's how we open the mechanism to lower the item. <laughs> Great. We'll take that straight off. The wheel. And then the box. Oh, we just have a full wooden box. No, you can't just have a wooden box. Come on. Can't click into that. All right, we have a full wooden box. Um, a wheel and a vial. I think it's probably time to go back downstairs. Don't think anything's going to fit on here, is it? Nah. I what we do with the box. That's interesting. Ooh, what's that? Nothing? Perhaps? Now, uh, one's done. Let's remind ourselves of what we're doing now. So we've got two and three to go. 
Uh, three, there we go. There's the other wheel. Good. Uh, now we want to turn this to there. Gotten which ones? So one and th so three and four there. Okay. So what we want to do is line up three and the two and four like that. So then when we use this, it will wheel the whole thing round into place. Um, but obviously that's not going to work yet. So if we get that there, then we get that uh, there. Hang on. Oh, Steve, what are you doing? Um, here we go. Something like that. Yeah, but then we can't just move. Yes, we can. Here we go. Uh, then this one comes across. Oh, what? I can move all three at once in the, if it's in the middle? Oh, right. I was going to say, this isn't going to work. I'm not going to be able to do this. But it looks like we can. If it'll let me rotate it. Perfect! Oh, it's dripping out. Careful. Click. Hmm, that's concerning. But maybe we can analyse it. <laughs> Have a cup of tea. And we've got a f filled test vial. And I assume we can't do anything with number two yet. Yeah, just the levers don't work. We need something in there to crank things up and down, maybe. So. We've still got this box. What the hell does the box do? Don't know, but we've got the test vial. I think we should go upstairs with it. Stick it over on the table. Good. Oh, it's interesting that can be turned round. Anyhow, now we've got the test solution in there. We'll just have a look down the lens. Have a, a nice look down the lens. No? Shite. Okay. So... That can angle wherever we want it to. I don't see why it shouldn't be there. This can be turned right round. This cannot be adjusted. Yep, that's the position for looking at whatever this is. Uh, can I then take this back out? No, because it's correct and in place. I don't understand why we can't use this now. It's clearly got... Yep. I'm here. Can't rotate that down. Can't look any closer. Oh, I'm missing something there. That maybe isn't a lens. Maybe I need a special lens or something. Uh, and that looks like the focusing mechanism, which comes up like that, turns that, turns that. Maybe turns that? No, surely it doesn't turn this. Oh, hang on. Those are going to turn something. So those are attached to that. Attached to that. <laughs> uh, um... It feels like moving this round is going to open something. Is that moving the thing round? I don't think it is. Let me put the box there at all. You went for a box to go? No. Oh, that's confused me. Um, does this box go on here? That 
was a silly idea, Steve. Why would it? Yeah, that's for downstairs. Hmm. I worry that I don't quite understand this thing. Oh, hang on. There's a big space here. For a box. Okay, great. Aha. Ah, very ha. We look through there. Can't see anything. It's all good. Take this. When she's perspectograph, it's missing an object to inspect. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just want to take this out. Don't seem to be able to. Can't do anything with that either. Okay, so we need an object to inspect. No timer thing there. Okay. There's the small lens. Which we don't put in there. I don't think. No. I think it makes more sense that we put it here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that'll slot into place. Good. Let me have a look. Aha! Focus it beautifully. Pyramids. Quite sure how that made a piece of wood open. The liquid from reservoir number three. Cool. Is triangular and pyramidal. Medallion. Do we inspect the medallion with the spectrograph? I don't imagine that's going to do anything. Nor. Okay, a medallion. That feels like it might have something to do with that second liquid. Or maybe this actually goes on the, the cauldron in the middle. <laughs> is it called a cauldron? What is it? Hang on. Yeah, we didn't do this one. Yeah, it doesn't just slot in, does it? A medallion. It's sort of brass looking. Maybe it does fit on one of these. Sure. It doesn't fit on there. I mean, it fits onto this cauldron somehow. Ah, 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 ah. Nope, doesn't go there. Balls. I've got to remember that exists, though. I've nearly forgotten about that. No. That's done. I can't believe I just I just remembered I was trying to make that one work. Silly. Uh, hmm. Where could the medallion go? I really want to just make this run, but I don't know what the item is I'm going to need to use for that. It's definitely not the medallion, right? right this has... Okay, so it sort of slots onto something that has a sticky out bit. No, I can't imagine it's there then. Back upstairs we go. God, we're approaching the two-hour mark already. That's flown by. It feels like the sort of thing that might stick on this, but... No point in just hovering over it. Where would it go? It doesn't. That appears to be done with. <laughs> no secret panels or secret areas on it. What about this? We re-raise it? No. I think we're done with over there. Alright. 
so it's back over here again. What the hell does that do? It doesn't just fit on there somehow, does it? That rotates, but I'm not sure what it does. We've seen the... Uh, oh no, they've gone. <laughs> We've seen the little triangles, which is great. We love the little triangles. Now let's unfocus them twice. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Down there we still don't have anything going on. Medallion. Fit onto that. The only thing I can think of is that it fits onto this somehow. Maybe gives gives us the purple shit. No, that's not the case. Does it maybe go on here? No. Hmm. Right, well, I need the toilet. Be right back. <laughs> okay, and we're back and we're feeling a lot fresher. And it's a lot easier to <laughs> be observant when, you, uh, when you're when you not desperate to expel stuff from your body. So, little medallion. It slots onto something. And th this thing, this thing would suggest that it, like, something goes into that. So it's going to be... It's going to be like one of these panel things, you know, we'll stick it on there and it'll go into that. Or I've misunderstood and it's actually, you know, so that this can, like a metal thing can stick out. I don't know, but I can't see anything there that, that does it. So let's have a really good look around here and see if there's anything that matches. Because I feel that that's what that's going to go on. It's going to go on something based on the... whoops, whoops! based on the rest of the game. And I think... yeah, I think I, in this sort of game it, it's my least favourite part is having a little thing... Like the, the next step is just, you know, clicking almost randomly in every part of the wood that you can see, or every part of the brick that you can see, and just desperately trying to find a slightly hidden panel that will open. Oh, I can't even adjust anything there. It's not there. Or there. Uh, table time. Right, I have had a look at this, but let's have another look. It came out of here, so it doesn't make... makes me think it's probably not going to go anywhere there. No, it doesn't look... doesn't look good. How about on the desk? No. Is there anywhere on here it's going to go? Nope, that just lets us look through. Can't see the desk there. Can we see the desk? Oh, yeah. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oops. Uh, back out. Hello. Uh, there you go, you see. Yeah, perfect shape. Oh, it doesn't slot in. Oh, it does slot in. See, I, I knew a metal thing would go through it. Oh, thank God for that. I was worried that was going to take me forever, and I was going to have to use another hint. I suppose we, we do have the hints, but I, I wonder if they hint you to... Oh, that table looks suspicious. Because I would n never have known to look there, apart from just clicking around randomly. Okay, anyway, we have a lever. And that looks like it's going to... Bit number one down here. It's interesting that we've done it three, then two, then one. To go against the grain a bit. Yeah, that's going to go in there, isn't it? Good. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, that's quite tricky. Uh, 
So the only way we're going to get down lower is just to do this. I want to try and bring all of these into a more easy to use position. That's quite good. This one. Does that have another gap anyway? It does on that side. Okay. That will let me go back up here. That will let me go to there. Then I can't move it up or down though. go any further. I think that has to be there, right? So you've got this available and that available. Um, so where's my next up? I can go up there. Bring that to there. Aha! Bring that to there. Pull that... whoopsie-daisy. Pull this one round like that. No. It does have a second option, though, which is there. Um, so we've now got a, a thing there, which is great, but I can't get this back out. What if we went up? No, we can't rotate it without the thing, so... What if we did this? Hang on. Ah! Oh! up like that, then rotate it round, then we've got that one in place. Beautiful. Uh, but, again, that doesn't do anything for us, does it? Well, I am now able to reach everything, which is good. We maybe did that. Then if we maybe did that... So I can't go up. Um, hmm. That way, because then we can still go back up. That way we won't still be able to go back up. Uh. Oh, I don't like these ones. <laughs> Very Rubik's cube isn't it? See, I want to have access to these, but obviously this can only be in the middle. And we can change it by having that one in the middle, but it needs to be in the middle, I think, in order for us to be able to move anything else back. So that's great, but then we can't change anything there. Going up does nothing. Um, does it let me retrieve this? No. So, currently all I can do is that. But then I can do that and whip that round, but then we're back in the same boat, aren't we? It's not going to work. That has no way down. That has no way down. Does each one of these things have two slots for the handle? Yes, right. So, one, two. That's three and I think four. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that one I think is one and two is at the back. I don't know how to plan this, that's the thing. It's probably quite simple when you know what you're doing, but I don't know how to plan what I'm doing with this. So here, we slide it back round. That's all cool because we've now got that lined up. Uh, but this can't go anywhere, so it's not cool. Oh, but we could go... We could go here. That's now lined up. That's in a good place as well. Um, putting this down is not going to get us in a good place, so I think we go down there. Move that across. Oh my god, we're so close. Um, going up there would be cool. So... So I want to get back to number two. So if we go to there, bring that up, we rotate that left, we still have an option to go down here. Oh my god, we've done it. No, we haven't. That rotates left. And then that goes down and we rotate it twice to the right. Oh wow, that was just brute force. Didn't do much planning there. But it's done.
And now what do we do? That? Oh! Oh, wow. <laughs> A little flying machine. Okay. Nothing to tell us anything there. This we're going to have to look at in just the right way, aren't we? And then we'll get some sort of cool message. Or maybe not. It looks like it though, doesn't it? We've just got to look at it at just the right angle. See that we've got bits of triangle there and there. So, we... Maybe not. But something's going to make it flap, maybe. Yeah, I can't really do anything with it. Cool. That's good. Still haven't done anything with this. Can you fit in there? Um, let's put the flying machine toy up on this and see if we can look at it through through the 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 the, the spec pers perspectograph. We can. Brilliant. That's incredibly intricate. Intricate. Oh wow, okay. Trying to work out. So it is going to be a perspective thing. It's called a perspectograph after all. Uh huh. See this lining up up here. That is incorrect. I can see things that should line up, like that top of this, but I, I don't know how to tilt it. Oh, shite. Nothing we can see there, no. Nothing we can see there, no. I mean, that looks good. This has to be somewhere different, though. Oh, we're getting so close. With so many of these bits. See, that's perfect now. That's basically perfect, but... Am I missing something in terms of do I need to rotate this or do anything with it? No. Looks like it's pretty much ready to go. So what we're doing is just using this. Can we... Oh, we can rotate it, it seems. How did we do that? I do not know what I'm doing there. Huh, okay. That's zooming in and out. We also have the ability to rotate at the same time. But no way to sort of tilt it because I, I can't get those to line up. Maybe it's not supposed to be that way. Maybe it's supposed to be a, a different angle or something. Maybe some of these are red herrings. That could be the case. Definitely happened before. Ah, ha, 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 that's very close. There we go! There's some kind of code on the wing of the model. I'm certain it's important. Probably is, but I'm not going to worry about it for now because look what's just stood up. A beautiful pink test file.
It's going to be the longest episode yet, isn't it? I assumed I'd be done in a couple of hours, because I think I read somewhere it's a five and a half hour game, and I've, I've played over six so far, I think. Maybe I'm not as good as this at some... <laughs> as, good, as good at this as some people. But, we found another thing. Oh, that's going to go down stairs. Exact ratio of different substances. Ah, 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 ah. Golden handles. The green is, yeah, triangles. The purple... Got one, two, three, four of those. Two diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles. So we'll... That's what we're going to be doing over here on the left, I think, with the uh, numbers of things we need to we need to include. Not very well explained, but it made sense to me. Yeah, we'll be adjusting those ratios using those handles, I think. Uh, but first off, I'm desperate to put this in there. Hello. Okay. Some symbols that are important, of course. Three, one, two-ish. Oh my god, what? Oh, it's an adding thing. Okay. Cool, so we need to... We Whoopsie daisy, I just clicked off the game. We do need to know... Yes, there's nothing secret on those, I don't think. Uh, what we do need to know is how many of each thing there are. And which ones correspond to which. So it's like eight I counted, didn't I? But then... Which of these three matches which symbol, and there they are. And by symbol I mean which chemical thing, so the pyramids or the um, diamond things. The, the, the three D diamonds. What are they called? I mean, they're cu they're cuboids, but they're not cube. Rectoboids? I've forgotten all my geometry. Okay, and on here might be, I think, the key. Yeah, it is. So the square, the diamond square ones, so square is the treble clef. That, the, the, the big D20 type thing, is, or the D8, 12, is uh, N, and circle, uh, triangles, are ribbons. Triangles are ribbons. Squares are treble clefts. Okay. And then the other one's the other one. Triangles are ribbons, squares are treble clefts. So, I'm actually going to write this down because I'm, I'm going to forget. Uh, where's a piece of paper I can use? Let's use an old parking charge notice that I got for <laughs> entering my number plate wrongly into an automated number plate recognition system for a car park and we got charged £60, which I appealed and said I was an idiot I can't spell and they said oh okay and let me off so what have we got we've got um, the square the diamond ones are uh, the treble clef looking what's it with three lines on it we had I know I'm looking at the wrong thing here we had the uh, triangle yeah, we're gonna have to look we're gonna have to look we'll just do it in the other order couldn't I but Right, squares are those. I've got that written down. We've then got uh, uh, duh, 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 duh. drawing out whatever the hell that shape is. Is a sort of pi n symbol with a flick, and then the triangle. This is the easy one. Triangle is a ribbon, and then we just need the numbers to correlate. So if we look in here at the fluid, uh, the right amount, the right mixture, we have how many triangles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as I thought. Big pentagon decahedron things, excuse me, we have four of. And the diamondy D8 are, I think we have two? I think I can only see two there. 
And let's count then. So that should make 14 objects. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He says pointing at the screen with his pen, not his mouse, so you can't see what I'm doing. Right, we've got all the information we need now. 2, 4, and 8. I don't know which order they go in, though. That's the tricky thing. I suppose we know green is triangles, don't we? So green is the triangles, and that came from number three down here, I think. So maybe that's another bit of information we need, because obviously we've got a one, two, and a three here. Oh no, they're all green. Piss. Uh, how do we know which one has which chemical in it then? So we, we, we measured that. Number three is the triangle, which is green. Okay, I don't know how we see the other two, but maybe we can just brute force it. Maybe it's written down somewhere, but whatever. I don't know what these do. These just let us light something up in order, but we won't worry too much about that yet. Here, we need to get these things in. So green we reckon is three, which we reckon is triangles, which we reckon is ribbon. So that's ribbon. These two are uh, either of these. Let's go one, two, three like that. Because that's how they were written on the plane. Right, so first one, we need to say two. A metal container, yeah. So we need to say two, four, eight. So let's add some numbers onto the end there. Three, three, and let's get a two in there. Right, so we've got eight correct. That should say two and that should say four. Um, to get that to say four, we can do that. Two, four, then we just need an eight. Um, how do we do that while keeping the other two the same? Oh, it's only the bottom one we can turn here, isn't it, to have three, three, and two. Is there another two on here? No, but there is another three. And that means we could have a two there and a three. So we're on three, one, eight. That's not bad. We need another one. Is there another three up here? No. Two, three, three. Four, two, eight. Hmm. Two, three. Have we got another three on the right hand side there? Yes, we have. Again, three, two, eight. Okay. I'm just trying the different combinations because I'm not going to be able to work out what order these are all in. Obviously we have nine there now, which we don't want. Seven, which also we don't want. We need the two. So you have a, a one, a two, and a three. You have, uh, looking at the right hand side here, lots of nothings, then a one, two, three next to each other. Uh, Missed what that said about the time machine there. I could be able, be able to start the time machine with a liquid mixed using the right formula. Yes. Agreed. Um, so, yeah, so where was I? One, two, and three. And this one has three, one, and two. Okay, so we need two threes. Let's start with the two being at the top and a three there and a three there. Four, two, eight. That's as close as we've got so far. But let's have the two in the middle this time. Because I still think we want to say two, four, eight. Come on. There we go. Three, one, eight. That doesn't help. Uh, so let's have the th two at the bottom. I'm pretty sure we've tried this already. Three, two, eight. Okay, the closest we can get then is four, two, eight, isn't it? Um, there we go. Four, two, eight. And knowing those numbers, I think we need to switch these two round. So four needs to be that, and eight, uh, two needs to be that. Perfect! All right. Now I don't know what to do with these. Yes. 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 And yes. Doesn't tell us anything. That's okay. We shouldn't just click willy-nilly. Double check around here, make sure there's no hidden compartments or anything. No, the only things I can click on are these, and all I can do is do them like that. So, does this do anything yet? Yes, that makes those go up. 
that's pumping more of the liquid in. Those are all now full. Okay, no, no worries. Ah! Now each of these is full. Ah. That wasn't the right one to do, clearly. Uh, I reckon it's going to be an order thing. Right, so that also wasn't the right one to do. Neither was that. <laughs> Neither was that. If I'm understanding this right... Yeah, okay. First one's there. Or oh, that was the only one we needed. Maybe there was a clue as to how we did that. Can we still do more? We can. Okay. So we know it's that one. It's... There's got to be a... Yeah, there's got to be a clue somewhere as to how we work out the order of this, but... Five. Let's go six next. No. Yeah, it's going to take too long to do this. We've got to find the pattern. Where could we find the pattern? It's going to be hidden in secret code somewhere. Seems a shame to brute force it, especially if it's going to take ages. Uh, but we've opened something up here. Maybe that'll give us a clue. I still don't know what to do about that. Did you not just open with something? Am I going mad or I thought I thought I saw that open. Didn't we not see just see a little cutscene with that that opening up? Or was it something over here that opened up? No. Damn. <laughs> those still don't know what I'm doing with those. Um Maybe it reset when I... Oh, do you know what? Maybe I need to... Spend ages walking down the stairs and... Light that in the correct order again, so... Bosh! Now, when we did that last time... Yeah, it turned this. Interesting. Some of them are sparking. Maybe that gives me an indication as to what I need to do. But the box opened when I did that first one. And so now I'm going to go back upstairs. And it has opened. Great. Oh, you shit. Right, so it's only going to open bit by bit. Okay. We do need to work out where the other ones come in. And which one did we do there? Can't see the fire. Ah, that one's on. Are there numbers on the posts or the pillars? No. What's sparking? Can't quite tell from here. Let's go back down. We might just have to brute force this. It would be a shame because that's going to take ages. We're not lucky. So that one has gone up first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've got six of them. That is the fifth. So one, two, three, four, five, six is the numbering there. If we come back to here and look up, we can see it a bit better. Right. Four just went. Then one, then six, then one, then two, then one, <laughs> then five. Okay, that's not going to help. Is there any way of being able to tell? Not over there. Oh, 
close by now. I could have just done it, couldn't I? Uh, okay, well, we tried six, and I think we tried one. Two, no, okay. So, five, three. Okay, five, three. Does that give us any more clues? I'd love to know where where you find this out. It can't just be brute force puzzle. Okay, doesn't matter. That's what we're doing. Five, three, uh, one. Nope. Oof, got to fill it up a lot. Five, three, two. Nope. Oh my god. Well, that is a right pisser. Or is it? Maybe four doesn't even need to go. So, five, three, Six. What? Right, that's up up to full power. Five, three. Redoing those does nothing. That obviously does nothing. Why am I able to see this? Like zoom in on this. There's nothing there. I can't reach in and get it for some reason. This whole thing is baffling me. Does that now open this, though? Yes, it has. <laughs> and it's given me another one of those. Okay. A lighter. Quite sure what the point of that was. This is going to be the longest episode to date. Strap in. Turn it round. Fill it up. Right, it's got to be that one next. Beauty. Now again, we should probably, before we start playing around with anything else, we should probably go up and check if that's done anything, because each time it's changed something. Okay, now it's rotating, but it's not done yet, so there'll be something else interesting to get in a minute. So, are we back to guessing again? Uh, right, which one am I going to do next? Anyone's guess, really? One. Oh, it worked. Six. Fuck! Oh, and this takes as many pumps as there are lighters. <laughs> and am I going to remember the number? Five, three, four, one, two, six. Woo! Yeah, if anyone knows where the clue for five, three, four, one, two, six was, if there was a clue, please let me know. The moving parts of the machine are running. What now? Well, now we go back upstairs and we check out what those very futuristic looking things here are. Don't know what that does. Uh, we can't 
do anything with that. The pipes from the central tank lead into the metal ring in the middle of the room. There's a metal ring. It's turning. Boy, is it turning. And the pipes lead into it, apparently. So... These don't seem to have any effect on anything. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's another tricky little, tricky little dicky. Is it tricky little dicky? How do I make it go? Maybe I don't. What about on this side? Is there anything <clears throat> on this side? No. Oh, so I can definitely... Ah, hang on. Of course. The lever. And now we know where to put the lever. Okay. Interesting. So it takes from one and adds to the other. And that can only fill up to there. So wh what are we wanting to do? Get them all even? So, yeah, that drains whatever is in there out and puts it in the next one. But what if we do that? Drain out of there and put it into there. Now we've got that full and that full. But that's not completely full yet. Uh, we've only got a limited amount anyway. Maybe we get it all. Whoops. You drain from there. Drain into there. Good. Then what happens if we drain from there? Two are left over. Okay. Not sure what we're trying to achieve here. Maybe we are trying to achieve the same number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Between three is four each. So we've got two there. If we dump a load from that one into that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got three here, which will go perfectly into that one. How are we going to get four in each? I do not know. Drain all of that into here. Then drain all of that into here. That's even if I'm supposed to be doing four in each. I don't know. Drain that to there. See, to me, it would make sense to, you know, that only goes up to there, that only goes up to there. Ta-da! But I guess that's not it. Um, so, these pipes lead to here. Yeah, it would make sense they all need to be even. It's like that Die Hard uh, 3 puzzle with the litres of water from the fountain into the such and such, isn't it? Um, so to get... Hmm. I don't know how I get four in each of these, though. The difference between those two is two. The difference between that and that is three. So... Oops. <clears throat> Do that. And that doesn't count. That's not full. Okay. There's a lever here that doesn't work until presumably everything's right. And if we put... Whoops. I always moved the wrong one. If we put what's in there into there, that's five. And if we take two off that one and put them in... That's five, and that's seven. Um, putting seven into there will end up with two there. <laughs> Just playing around, testing, seeing what we're what we're doing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Okay. So those are reasonably even. Um, yeah, that doesn't do anything, does it? Put those back. 
Oh no, bugged it. Um, empty, yeah, that into there. We've got two remaining. Maybe we, one, two, three, four, five, just fill that one? That can't be it. No. I don't know what we're trying to achieve here. As I say, there are 12, aren't there? And divided by three, that's four in each to have it level. How does one put four in? There's no, there's nothing that has a difference of four. So that has a difference of three, and that has a difference of five, that has a difference of two. Five minus two is three, five minus three is two. Um, take those out. Shit, that's not what I meant to do. Put them back. We just put two in there. What happens? Then we get seven from there. Seven uh, minus the three that I'm going to put in there will give us four. Now we have four. What? I'm sorry, but how does that make sense? I must have missed something for it to be three, four, five. That doesn't correlate with any of the numbers I've written down before. Yeah, I, I don't understand that. Again, I must have missed. <laughs> must have missed a secret. A secret number somewhere. Maybe it was written on the curtain. Don't know. Oh, no. How did you get here? There's only one way away. And that's to jump in. Oh, he's coming after me. A battle through time. Having wandered some distance among gloomy rocks, I came to the entrance of a great cavern. Two contrary emotions arose in me, fear and desire. Fear of the threatening dark cavern, desire to see whether they were, there were any marvellous things in it, such as some rock Pokemon. Said Leonardo da Vinci, and there you have it. My blue brain games. Certainly gave me a blue brain. Yeah, what an interesting one that was. Um, as I say, I, I, I'm not sure I liked it as much as the room. Things in the room, I think, thinking back like 10 years, I think they made more logical sense. There were one or two things there where I was just like, I don't understand what I have done in order to achieve that bit of puzzle. Um, but no, overall, that was a really nice change of pace and I've really enjoyed myself. And thank you, Yannick, once again for... Yannick, once again for that. Oh god, the Oculi, the, 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 the Oculi is, uh, is broken. How am I going to get back through time? Yeah, either way, really good. Congratulations, you finished the House of Da Vinci in 5 hours, 26 minutes and 40 seconds. I think I've been recording for a lot longer than that. I wonder how it times it. As Master Leonardo Da Vinci once said, art is never finished, only abandoned. We promise that the game art from Blue Brain Games will continue to be developed. Our joint adventure is just beginning. There we have it. Lovely. Achievements. Did I get all the achievements? Got to check. Oh, wow. Huh. That's nice. <clears throat> uh, yes. That means, maybe? No, I'm missing something there. Whenever you find a design indicating an achievement, its functional model will show up under one of the arches in the sides of the courtyard. Ah, so I, I missed one. Never mind. I play with this. Ah, that makes it work. That's the scythe thingy. <laughs> Very clever. Watch your fingers. Anyhow. I've been playing long enough today. Because that's all been one one session with a toilet break in the middle. So, lots of love to all of you. Thank you ever so much, everyone, for, um, for joining in. I'm going to read these in my own time at some point. But, uh, yeah, until I see you all on the next video, whatever that might be, take care, love and peace. Keep, keep solving them mysteries. Bye. That's that button. Smash.